Now that I have validated the design for solar protection and found the perfect solution for the louvers, I'll return to AutoCAD 2011 where I'll continue developing the pavilion. As you explore your ideas in AutoCAD 2011, you can add realism to the model to better visualize the design. Choose from nearly 1,200 predefined materials in the Autodesk Materials Library. This is a consistent materials library that works across Autodesk applications, including AutoCAD 2011, Autodesk Revit 2011, and 3ds Max Design 2011. Finding and previewing materials is easy with the new Materials Browser, where you can browse through material categories or search for specific kinds of materials. To help navigate around your model and visualize design concepts in key areas, you can create cameras. Easily modify camera properties and restore camera views. To better understand and communicate the effect of my materials, I'll save the drawing and bring it into 3ds Max Design 2011, where I can create a high-impact visualization with animation and the highest quality rendering. Upon opening the File Link Manager window in 3ds Max Design 2011, I received visual indication that my DWG drawing has been updated and needs to be reloaded. Reloading will update the data automatically, including new materials, all camera views, lights, and objects. 3ds Max Design 2011 delivers extensive data interoperability with AutoCAD 2011 so that you can spend more time creating and less time tracking down data. The enhanced ability to view most 3ds Max texture maps and materials in the viewport means you can make interactive decisions in a higher fidelity context, helping to reduce errors and save time. Having only to adjust the mental ray exposure control, 3ds Max Design 2011 is, by default, set to give you quick, high-quality rendered images. While using the Rendering Reveal window and the Autodesk Materials Library with the same materials offered in AutoCAD 2011, I am able to render quick iterations on materials, lights, and exposure quality. The option to render a region or selected objects allows you to save time on your rendering and only re-render the objects or region of your image that you are currently adjusting. The Global Quality knob also offers quick access to adjust rendering time versus rendering quality, allowing for fast rendering tests or more refined rendering, depending on the stage of your rendering process. 3ds Max Design 2011 also offers a powerful modeling toolset that complements the building information modeling workflow during conceptualization. Here, with the help of graphite modeling tools, generate topology tool, and a lattice modifier, I am able to explore variations of my curtain wall mullions. The freedom to experiment during the conceptual stage enables you to more quickly explore design alternatives and gain a better understanding of the impact of your ideas earlier on. 3ds Max Design 2011 helps you tell the story of your design throughout the design process to both colleagues and clients, ultimately helping you win more business. Communicate a fuller scope of your creative vision by adding organic elements, real or stylized characters, props, and lighting. In this case, we will import Google SketchUp models for our surrounding environment that we have found for free in the extensive Google Warehouse Gallery. Adding trees to my visualization will help bring life and realism. The Autodesk Seek website is one of many websites that comprise a strong, supportive 3D community where you can find information, training, and free models that will accelerate the detailing of your visualization. I was able to download high-quality trees from the Autodesk Seek website and position them where I need in the project. Adding highly detailed trees to your scene will increase the size of it. By turning your trees into mental ray proxies, you can keep the file size to a minimum. It caches high-resolution meshes that will be demand loaded at render time, saving memory, increasing performance, and allowing you to render much larger scenes. To help understand the scaling proportions, I will place stylized character models that we have created using AutoCAD blocks. The process of placing a large number of random stylized characters is easy when using the new Paint Object tool. 
First, I pick the object I want to paint with, in this case a random selection of stylized characters. Then I select the object I want to paint on, for this example, the ground surrounding the pavilion. In about five brush strokes, I can populate the scene with a large number of stylized characters.